All right, let's create a map in felt in just two minutes. So this is a map of heritage sites in England, and I'm gonna be focusing on one particular site to create my map. If you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, you can find a link to this map in the video description. Simply go to the file menu and then duplicate it to your maps. Now more specifically, I'm gonna be focusing on the city of Bath. Now for this exercise, I suggest you focus on a different site just because it's gonna be more fun for you and it's gonna help you learn a little bit better. Now if I click on the polygon here, you'll see a pop-up and in this pop-up is a link to the data source, which is historicengland.org.uk. There's a lot of great information here, including a text summary, as well as photos and videos. I want to include all of this information on my map so that when I share it out to a viewer, they don't have to click out to other sites. Everything will be neatly in one visual. And this is incredibly easy to do with felt. First, I'm gonna grab this text in the summary here and just copy it. I can use the note tool in felt and paste this directly on the map. Now I can quickly change the color, reposition and resize. I'll also download an image here and to bring this onto the map, it's really as easy as dragging it and dropping it directly on the UI in the browser. I also found a really cool YouTube video here to share this. I'm going to copy the link and then come back over here to felt and simply grab the video tool and I can paste that directly here. So easy, so fast. Now for a final step, I'll grab the text tool and create a little title right here. Now to share this out, I'll click on the share button and copy my link right here. Okay, so there you have it. That is how easy it is to put together a map using felt. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. We would love to see what you put together. So please share that link with us down in the comment section or tag us on socials so we can share your maps with our audience as well. And this is actually the final episode of our Fundamentals of GIS series. If you don't know what that is, or you happen to miss all the previous episodes, you can check out the entire series. There's a link to the playlist down in the description. Hope you had fun and see you next time.